Hi, Famaril. It's real here. So today is our last day in Japan. So sad. It's been a great more than two weeks, almost three weeks. I've already checked out of my hotel. Actually, not a, not a, not a hotel. It's an apartment and I really loved it. It's, I think it's one of the best bookings I did of a, you know, of a place for me to stay. So I highly recommend it here in Osaka. Flashback. Anyway, we're going today to Kobe to eat some Kobe beef. So excited. So let's see how the day goes by. And then later on tonight, we're going to go to the airport now to go back to our country, <laughs> to the Philippines. Okay, anyway, no, no time to be sad. No tears have to cry. Let's just go. Going to Kobe is about an hour from our apartment by train, which is like the same distance with Nara. But this time on the other side of Osaka. And moments later, we are here in Kobe. Kobe seems to be a very commercial area, yet quite simple, like it's not as busy as Osaka or Tokyo. Now, the restaurant we're going to here in Kobe is actually quite near from the main Kobe station. Just around 10 minutes walk and we have arrived! We are trying Kobe beef in this very famous restaurant called Kobe Gyudon Hiroshige. It is famous not only for its very delicious Kobe beef but also as it is cheaper than most Kobe beef restaurants. And this is a one-man restaurant. There's only one staff here which is the owner. He cooks he cleaned up the tables, he washed the dishes, everything. So it's like a one-man show. Add to that, this is a Michelin restaurant. So the hype is real. And the line is so long. Not only that, the wait is long as well. Can you guess how long I waited just for me to be able to enter the restaurant? One hour? Two hours? No! I waited four hours just to be seated inside. That is the longest wait I've ever done just for food in my entire life. This is insane. Well, the restaurant is quite small and there are only around 10 seats inside. So that's why you'd really have to wait long, especially if there are a lot of people in line. Here's a tip. To not look as exhausted as I am right now, come here 30 minutes before their opening time, which is at 11 a.m. Anyway, the moment we've been waiting for, yes, all caps on that, is here. They only have one menu item as it's their specialty, so we're having this Kobe beef gyudon for 2,200 yen, which is 827 pesos or 15.19 dollars. Just by the look of it, we are in for a treat! This is in no exaggeration, but this is the best meal I've ever had in my life. Not only that, but the generous amount of Kobe beef slices is the cherry on top. With every bite, I can feel the passion, the heart, the soul that the owner put into this bowl just for me and the other customers to feel like, yes, this is actually worth it. So, kudos to the owner for working so hard in creating this masterpiece. So guys, what a way to conclude my first solo trip ever and also here in Japan. That was the best Kobe beef I've ever tried in my life. Actually not Kobe beef, like generally beef. I've never tried Kobe beef before, but beef in general, it's the best. Anyway, let's go back to the apartment now to pick up our luggages and then time to go home. Time to go to the airport and fly back to our country, to the Philippines. Are we ready to go back? I don't think so. I love it here already. <laughs> anyway, come on, come on, let's go. We are back in our apartment and it's time to bid our final goodbye. I'll miss you, resident Saku! So since I don't wanna carry three luggages while walking, I put my other cabin luggage inside my other big new luggage. <laughs> Here's the other one. So I am happy to share. I can bring home this very special souvenir from Japan. The umbrella that the guy from the, the staff from the restaurant that I didn't eat at gave to me for free. 
because it was raining and it was really concerned that I would, I will, you know, get wet. So I arrived here with two luggages, as you can see, these two only, and now I'm going home with, like, <laughs> a third bigger luggage. <laughs> Family picture. <laughs> Let's eat takoyaki. It's finally here. I've been craving for takoyaki. Yes! It's moving, guys. It's moving. So I just want to share. I think some of the wood <laughs> went to the food. <laughs> Hopefully, it tastes good. Um, so apparently, in Japan Airlines, they're very strict because we were allowed 23 kilos per luggage. So I was thinking if combined, that's like 46 kilos, right? So my large baggage was like more than 23 kilos, like 26 kilos. My medium-sized luggage is like only 19 kilos. So I just thought that if you add them up, then it's below 46. Apparently, with Japan Airlines, they're very strict. They do not accept like the other luggage more than 23 kilos. It has to be exactly or under 23 kilos each. So I had to like move some stuff from the other large luggage to the medium-sized luggage. So it was kind of tiring. <laughs> because I had to fix everything again. But I did it guys or else I will get built. I have to pay like 6,000 yen, which is like around 2,500 pesos, so it's still kind of expensive, so and I'm not gonna pay for that, so anyway, I did it, so proud of myself so it's time to eat to reward myself <laughs> few minutes later, it's time to board our plane, but for now, we're flying back to Tokyo, then we are flying home to the Philippines Looking outside the plane, Osaka at night is truly just beautiful. When I arrived at Haneda Airport in Tokyo, the first thing I did, go to Duty Free and shop for more chocolates. I got myself a lot of Royce chocolates because Royce is quite cheap here in Japan. Anywho, I got hungry again, so let's have a very late dinner. So we are back here at Haneda Airport in Tokyo for the stopover. And then we're heading home to the Philippines in just a few hours. Yeah, so right now I'm just eating a very late dinner. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes my Japan vlog series for now. To be honest, before going back to Japan for the second time this year, I had so many hesitations, worries, fears, because again, it's my first time to travel by myself. But then after this trip, I realized, you know, I actually had a lot of fun spending time in a different country by myself. So I'm definitely gonna do this again. Actually, I already did this. Um, I edited this vlog after I just came back from my trip to Taiwan and Hong Kong. So on that note, here is a snippet or a sneak peek to my Hong Kong travel vlogs which is coming next okay so enjoy